Okay, so today we are learning about angles of triangles. Okay, so really, really important. How many degrees did I just say add up to uh, the interior angles of a triangle? How many did I say? 180. Okay, so we're going to start with interior angles, and then we'll talk about exterior angles, which those are created when my sides extend past the interior angles. All right, so coming back over here to our interior angles, we need to set up an equation. All right, so we've got 32 plus 48 plus X. And what did we just say? The interior angles of a triangle are gonna, yes, 180. This should look familiar to you because we did this back in chapter one. Okay, we did this back in chapter one. All right, so, um, Anybody want to take a shot at it? What's 32 plus 48? Y'all tell me. It's going to be 80. It's going to be 80. 32 plus 48 is 80. Plus X equals 180. Okay, 80 plus X equals 180. Now, what do I need to do next? To solve for X, just tell me. Subtract by 80 on both sides. Okay, minus 80 on both sides, and x equals 100. Now, this is not my final answer, all right? If you remember back to chapter 1, we had to then specifically list all three interior angle measures. Sometimes that includes a little bit more math I have to do, okay? So I plug in 100 up here for x, okay? So I have 100 degrees. I have 32 degrees and I have 48 degrees. Okay, those are my three angle measurements. Those are my three angle measurements. All right, what about what about B? What about letter B? Uh, I'm sorry, triangle B. Okay, what do you guys notice about triangle B that looks a little bit different? Ah, oh, how did you know there was a 90 degree angle? Do you see the little red box? See that little red box over there? Okay, so that means a 90 degree angle. It doesn't say 90, but I know that that's what it means. Okay, so I have 90 plus X plus X plus 28. Now let's talk about these parentheses. Okay, the parentheses are only there to tell you that these two terms together make up one angle. Okay, so they don't have anything to do with your operations. All right, you can just, you can add and combine like terms as if they were not there. What do they all have to equal? 180. 180, very good. Okay, so now before I start to try to solve for X, I wanna see if there's any like terms that I could combine. Do you guys see any like terms over here? 90 and 28. Um, what about 1x plus 1x? Could I do 1x plus 1x? Okay. 1x plus 1x is 2x. Very good. You guys are doing awesome. So 2x plus 118 equals 180. All right. Now, where does my heart go? Around the 2x. Okay, and I want you guys to finish solving for X. Go ahead and finish solving for X. All right, did you subtract 118? Guys, did you subtract 118? Yes. Okay, 2X equals 62. Guys, do you know the easy way to divide something by two? Half each digit. That's all you have to do. So if you're dividing something by two, you're taking half of each digit x equals 31 degrees okay 31 degrees now this is not my final answer okay i need to now go back and plug it in and find each individual angle measure all right so do i need to do anything with the 90 no, no it's just 90 okay now when i plug it back in the bottom right and for x it's just 31 but what do I need to do on that top angle? I need to do 31 plus 28. What's 31 plus 28? 59 degrees. 
okay? Those are my three angle measurements. All right, any questions? Any questions on that? Okay, all right, so we're gonna do two practice problems. Okay, so we're just gonna pause here for a few minutes and do these two practice um, problems. Okay, so we accidentally skipped the try it, but we had already done example one, so it's the same thing, just solving for the interior. Now we need to talk about exterior, okay? Pay attention. All right, so my exterior angle is equal to the sum of my two interior angles that are not connected, non-adjacent, okay? So my exterior angle equals 32, 36 plus 72. What's 36 plus 72? Anybody know what's 36 plus 72? All right, so X equals 108 degrees. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Now, before you say that's easy, okay, it does get a little bit harder, okay? All right, so look here, okay? The, the concept is still the same. You're still going to do the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two angles inside that are not touching it or that are non-adjacent. Now remember, A minus five is only in parentheses, so that tells you that the, the whole A minus five is only one angle, okay? All right, so I can still combine like terms over here. What like terms can I combine? 80 minus, 80 minus 5. What's 80 minus 5? 75. Okay. So 2A equals 75 plus A, or just 1A. Let's say 1A. Okay. Now, I notice that I have A's on both sides of my equation. So which one do I want to move? Which one is the lesser value? 1A. 1A. So I need to subtract 1A to the other side. Okay? So now 2A minus 1A? 1A. Or just A equals 75 degrees. But is this my answer? No. Okay, I need to find the exterior angle. The exterior angle is not A, it's 2A. It's 2A. So if 1A is 75, how can I figure out 2A? To multiply, to multiply it by 2, okay? So my exterior angle, I'm going to say is 75 times 2, which equals what? What's 75 times 2? 150 degrees. 150 degrees. Okay? So, obviously, it got a little bit more complicated, but my concept is still the same. My exterior angle equals the sum of my two interior angles. Okay? All right. Um... Let's do one more. Uh, this is not in your notes. Just kind of look up here. This is a practice one. Anybody want to just raise your hand and give it a shot? What do you think? Does that look weird? Um, okay, uh, John, what do you think? X equals 55 plus 80. Yes, X equals. Nobody on this video is going to know why y'all are laughing so much. All right, 55 plus 50. Okay, today's spirit day. I'm wearing an alien outfit. Yes. All right, so X equals. What's 55 plus 50? This is my last chance to get it recorded. 105 degrees. X equals 105 degrees. Okay. All right. Last example, guys. We have modeling real life. We've got a map. Has anybody ever flown on an airplane? No. 
okay? So you, you feel the airplane turn, right? Well, that pilot really better know their angles of turning so you don't have any collisions in the air. And so you end up at your destination. So this map shows a route from Miami to Puerto Rico, up to Bermuda, and back to Miami. It is famously known as the Bermuda Triangle. Okay, and that's because of some of the currents that intersect here and uh, can become very hazardous. People say that it's kind of haunted. Okay, but look here, guys. We can apply this. Okay. <laughs> we can apply this. <laughs> ah, it's pressing buttons. Okay, to what we just, what we've already learned. All right, in this lesson, so far. Okay, so X plus. Okay, X plus two X minus forty four point eight. Guys, I don't even know if I want to know. Plus, focus, focus, people. 62.8 equals 180. All right, what do y'all think? Are, are y'all setting this up? Okay, so all I'm doing, all, all I'm doing is just adding up each of the angles together. So what are some like terms that I could combine here? Y'all just tell me. 1x plus 2x is what? 3x. And then what about my numbers? Uh-huh, very good. So negative 44.8 plus 62.8. That's going to give me 18 equals 180. Okay. All right, where's my heart going to go? 3x. Okay, my heart's gonna go over 3x, and then what do I do? All right, subtract 18 on both sides, and 3x equals 162. All right, one more step, guys. Divide by three. Okay, x equals 50. Four degrees. Here's my question. Does this answer the, the question? What is the measure of Miami? Does that answer Miami? No. What is Miami? Miami is only X. This does answer Miami. Okay. Would this answer Puerto Rico? No, because Puerto Rico, I'd have to plug it in, multiply, and then subtract. All right? If you understand that, that's everything you need to know for today's lesson.